All right, boys, welcome back to the channel. Now, I'm assuming many of you already know this, but if you haven't heard, in the background is the official Modern Warfare 3 trailer that dropped on Monday, the 7th of August. Now, for some of you, this might come as a surprise, as we weren't expecting a Call of Duty until 2024. Now, we've been hearing of leaks that this year's Call of Duty would be, in fact, Modern Warfare 3 for a while now. However, this is now officially been confirmed, along with the release date, being November the 10th, 2023. It's also been confirmed that Sledgehammer Games are the developers of Modern Warfare 3 and not Infinity Ward, as they tweeted the trailer out on their own Twitter page. Now, if we take a look back at a previous Call of Duty blog, we can see that a reveal event within Warzone 2 for Call of Duty 2023 had already been announced prior to them revealing the announcement trailer which leads me to believe this event will showcase gameplay of Modern Warfare 3 as the name of the title has now already been revealed. So what is this event and when can we see it? Well, data miners have found a date of the 17th of August, along with the name of the event being called Shadow Siege. Now I've done a whole lot of digging and I've gathered up all of the information and leaks, including a big hidden secret in the announcement trailer, which should give us an idea of everything coming in Modern Warfare 3, and I'll explain it all in this video. But just quickly before we get into it, make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications on, and so you can keep up to date with all the newest information. I know we're just a small channel that started before Modern Warfare 2 released, and within a year, we've grown up to 140 subscribers, and our goal right now is 200. So I really appreciate all of your guys' support, and now let's get into it. All right, so I'll link everything I've found in the description for you guys to check out. But the day before the reveal trailer was released, Call of Duty sent out packages to a select few content creators. Face Swag received the most interesting package in particular, as inside was a slide, a can, and a cell phone. Now put these words together and what do you get? Slide, can, sell, slide cancel. This is almost definitely confirming that slide cancelling is returning in Modern Warfare 3. Also, reload cancelling has also been rumoured to make a return, which is something that was removed in Modern Warfare 2. For the first time ever, it appears that your Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone weapons, operators and store bundles will all carry over to Modern Warfare 3. This was announced by Call of Duty themselves when they put a poll out on Twitter asking if the operator's weapons and bundles should carry over to Modern Warfare 3, and the only answer available in the poll was yes. Images leaked on Twitter earlier in the year of remastered Modern Warfare 2 maps from 2009 that were supposedly coming in Call of Duty 2023. However, when I was searching for these photos, it appears that they've been copyrighted, which leads me to believe it was true. The maps in the leaks were Scrapyard, and long-time fan favourite, Terminal. Now it's also been leaked that the game mode War from Call of Duty World War 2 will be returning in Modern Warfare 3. During the mode, an attacking team must complete strategic objectives while the other team defends said objectives. After a round is over, teams switch, giving both teams a chance to attack and defend. Leaker Bob Network UK revealed to us that perks will be different in Modern Warfare 3 to how we've ever seen them before. It's a four perk column laid out in gear. Perk 1 will be the helmet, perk 2 vest, perk 3 gloves, and perk 4 boots. So here we get a more in-depth explanation of how the perk system might work. So if you was running a gunner vest, you'd get two primaries. If you was running an overkill vest, it could be the similar effect to double time. A grenadier vest might be similar to bomb squad, Infantry vest might be similar to quick fix. A scout vest would have the effect of spotter and tactical vest would be the same as having an extra tactical. It all depends on what gear you're wearing. Here we have the same thing for the gloves. So the tactical gloves would have the similar effect of fast hands. Scavenger would have the same effect as scavenger. Marksman gloves cold blooded. Assault gloves battle hardened and specialist gloves would be ghost or high alert. Rumours claim a return of the classic minimap is to return, which we haven't seen in any of the new Modern Warfare titles, as Infinity Ward seems to be against the red dots pinging on the map 
when someone shoots their weapon. But since Sledgehammer is developing this, this statement could very well be true. While digging around on Reddit, I found that the weapon list for Modern Warfare 3 had already been leaked. I'll go down the list. Starting from Assault Rifles, we have the ACR in 5.56 and in 300 blackout rounds, the G36, we have the Brennan 7.62, the Brennan 5.56, the FN F2000, the QBZ 95, the QBZ 97. For Battle Rifles, we have the ACR, we have the Bren again, and we also have the Spear. Now for Maximum Rifles, we've got the ACR DMR, the CZ Bren 2, the SL8 and the SVK. For machine guns, we have the FN, we have the MG36, the Bullpup PKP, the PKP, and the LSW. Now for pistols, we've got the Glock 21, the Beretta, the NSH, and the Micro Uzi. The shotguns seem to be unconfirmed as we have question marks next to them, but one's a pump and one's a semi. For submachine guns, we have the Colt, uh, 635, the SMG 45, the Scorpion Evo 3, the UMP, Uzi, and Uzi Pro. And for sniper rifles, we have the HS 50 M1 and the SVC H. Finally, for lethal equipment, we have the PFM 1 Mine. And kill streaks, we have long range acoustic device and a switchblade. Here I've inserted an image of what the weapons may look like in Modern Warfare 3 to give you a better idea, as the names can be quite confusing. So I've told you a lot about what's coming in Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer, but what about Warzone 2? Well, it appears that Metaphor has shared a few leaks on what Warzone 2 might look like when Modern Warfare 3 releases. So I'll read his tweets. New Warzone map coming in Modern Warfare 3 looks amazing. Slide cancel is in the current build. No giant hill in the middle of the map. Tons of buildings and POIs, unlike Caldera. Lots of areas that look memorable. I think it will be a lot of people's favourite map. Downtown is very Verdansk-like, with the biggest building being Overwatch from Modern Warfare 3 DLC. Countdown from COD 4 is also in the map, and the game looks extremely like Modern Warfare 2 but improved. Hope they make the animations smoother and faster. So when are you going to be able to play the Modern Warfare 3 beta the new Warzone map or the campaign? Well, apparently this is already been leaked and the dates are as follows. For PlayStation only, the beta will start on the 6th of October and then on weekend two, it will open to everyone on the 12th of October. For campaign early access, this will begin on the 2nd of November, a week early, just like it did in Modern Warfare 2. And then, Season 1 and the new Warzone map will launch on the 5th of December 2023. But wait, that's not everything that I've found, as I discovered a hidden secret within the Modern Warfare 3 reveal trailer. Let's take a look at it once again. Did you catch it? Let's slow it down. Here I've enlarged the image and slowed it down. You can see numbers appearing throughout the reveal trailer. Now if we piece these numbers together, we get a phone number. And this is what happens when you send a message to the number. Major conflict incoming, a lot of opportunity. We need someone like you with experience in Almazra. Are you able to receive sensitive intelligence? To which then I replied, Yes. The number then replied to me with an image which what seems to be Zaya Observatory within Al Mazra in Warzone. The number then left a final message which read, Enough for now, more coming soon. I then went on and said that I was Captain Price and that they should send me more information, but however, they did not. But what I did discover was if you put this number in on WhatsApp, and you check the image of the contact, this photo comes up in which people believe that the image on the left could be related to zombies. And right as I was about to finish this video, Call of Duty announced 
that the Makarov reveal trailer is releasing tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern time. So don't you guys forget to watch that. So that's everything we have so far on Modern Warfare 3. Thank you all for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.